Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel I'm Ben and today I want to give you a little tip to understand if a game in Oculus Quest Store is playable on your Quest or Quest 2 in standalone or is available on PC VR only so via link or wireless smash the damn like button subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date and come find me on my facebook page you find the link in the description and the link to instant gaming website to buy games with great discounts so how the hell can i understand if a game i want to buy on the stupid oculus store is available for pc vr only or also playable as standalone wait what so you're telling me that if i buy a game on oculus store it is not said I can play standalone on my Quest 2? Well, yeah, let's say that 95% of games in the Oval Store are PC VR, and for now, for now, just few titles are playable in standalone, and with title I mean real games, and not just stupid little experience that you can do on your phone inside a card box. Anyway, now you know not all games can be played on standalone, so if you have a Quest 2 but don't have a good PC to run games as PC VR, how the hell you can understand if you can play that game or not? Ok, let's take this game for example. I own Phantom Cover Ops, which is a marvelous stealth game that you cannot miss, no matter if you add Rift, Rift S or Quest or Quest 2, no matter, just fucking buy this game. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Once you go in the game page, to be sure that you can play this game on standalone, just check here. In this column, you will see which headsets are compatible with this game. So, this means if you buy, you have both PC VR version and standalone version. But remember, they are not the same thing. But wait, let's do a step back. Did I say that already games with both Rift and Oculus platform are cross by? Did I? No, so shut up and keep watching this video. What? What do you say? What cross by means? Well, it means that if you buy a game for Rift platform, you also have the Quest version. Now, check this. The Climb. Another must have game. This is the PCR version page of the game. Here it is, Rift and Quest, and now we scroll down until we find the dimension. And BAM, here it is, space required 10.88 GB, so almost 11 GB. And we are talking about the Rift version, ok? So now we go Quest session and we search for the climb. Here it is, the climb, same game but for Quest platform, here support Quest and support Rift, we go to check the dimension, space required, bam, 1.64 GB. This because PC VR version and standalone version are completely different games, and you know why? Because the standalone version is a mobile game, ok? So, less graphic details, kinda low texture, no shadows, no reflection, I mean, it's not a total shit, ok? But it's a game that must run on standalone device with a mobile chip. So what the fuck did you expect it? Anyway, it's not this the problem, but it's the cross buy, ok? So, if you buy the PC VR version, you also get the standalone version and vice versa. So, you don't need to buy twice. But, not all games available on both Rift and Quest platforms are cross buy. So, another question is, how do I know if a game available on both platforms is cross buy? <sighs> I have to do all the job for you. Simply check the link in the description that redirects you on the Oculus webpage with the complete game list with all the cross buy games. So look out, check this page every time you want to buy a game, because sometimes it changes. Just to do an example, Onward. Onward was cross buy a few weeks ago and now it's no more. So if you want to buy Onward for now, for now, you have to buy the PC VR version and the standalone version if you want to play on standalone. 
And so another question is, what if I want a game on both my Rift S and Quest 2 if it's not cross by? I already said that guys, just buy twice, yeah, no joke. You want Beat Saber on both Rift and Quest? Buy twice. You want Onward on both Rift and Quest? Buy twice. Sorry, not my fault. And what if it say Rift only? If it say Rift or Rift S only, it means you cannot play on Quest 2. Or anyway, you can play only via link cable or wireless, but always streaming from your PC. While if you see Rift, Rift S and Quest, it means you can play on Quest or Quest 2, even in standalone mode. Just remember that the PC VR version is meant to be played on PC only, so on Windows operating system, for example, while the standalone version is meant to be played on standalone headset, so for Android operating system. And this changed everything, because it's like you buy two games in one, Okay? Don't think you can download the game on your PC and send to your Quest 2 via SideQuest, for example, or some other way, because no, you just cannot play. To play the Quest or the Quest 2 version, you have to download directly to your headset. And the only way you can play the PC VR version on your Quest 2, it's only via cable link no matter if it's the original Oculus Link or any other 3.0 USB cable. Or if you want to play PC VR version in wireless, you need a Wi-Fi router, at least at 5 GHz, so you have only two options, via Oculus Link or Wi-Fi connected to your PC. And of course, your PC must have a VR-ready USB port for cable link and must have the minimum requirement to run that game. Oh, and by the way, to check your PC minimum requirements, follow the link in the description and download, install and run Steam VR Performance Test. If you're green, you're good to go for PC VR games. Oh, and one last important thing. This is for Oculus Store only. Keep in mind that any other game you buy on Steam or some other game service is only PC VR version and not playable on standalone. So please, don't come here to ask why I can play on standalone if you got the Steam version of the game, okay? So if you got Saints and Sinners on Steam, for example, and now you want to play on your Quest 2 in standalone mode, well, you can't and you have to buy again on the Oculus store and that's it. So questers, I hope this was useful for you. Overall for those who are stepping for the first time in VR, enjoy your headsets, enjoy your games and ask me anything down in the comments below if you need to know something about VR. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. That's all from Ben. See you to the next video. Ciao ciao.